Dragon Ballers, if you're looking to buy a Dragon Ball Super or One Piece sealed product, make sure to get 5% off using my link to Mystic TCG down in the description. You can also sell cards to them using their Facebook link, which is also down in the description. Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going over the tournament pack cards coming out with set 20 power absorbed. They're actually quite good, which it's kind of a good and a bad thing the the good thing about it is it gives us a reason to go to locals and, and play for those promos that's something i'm a big fan of the slight downside though is that these cards end up being pretty expensive at least on release usually though after a few weeks once enough of these are in circulation the prices become a lot more manageable and obtainable so you just gotta be a little bit patient i definitely do this all the time when i'm not playing a deck for like a competitive event where i need the promos i just wait it out wait like two or three weeks and usually the prices come down quite a bit so it's a little bit of a tip for you guys that um sometimes struggle to get promos just wait a little bit and usually they come down in price but with that being said if you're new here make sure to subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and we'll get started i just want to say one more thing i know the videos the past like week and a half have been uh, just a lot of like card reviews and talking about a lot of new cards coming out and i usually like to vary up the type of content i post throughout a week but it just so happens that i'm traveling this week you know this past weekend i was actually in dallas for the one piece treasure cup and then uh this coming weekend i'm going to be at the world's lcq event so with a whole week of traveling these are just the easiest videos i was able to record in a timely and efficient manner with my regular day job so i say all that to say that i just want to thank you guys for sticking with me and i will try my best to vary up the content as we go into next week but anyways let's jump right on into this starting with the first promo card we have android 21 trading places which is support for self-control android 21 we have barrier auto limit one Place one of your energy in the owner's drop and return one of your multicolor energy to its owner's hand. When this card is used in a combo, add one card from your hand to your energy in rest mode. And then regular auto at the end of the turn, place up to one of your energy in its owner's drop area. So the self-control Android 21 leader is a, um, I think it was a starter deck or a ultimate deck or expert deck. It was an expert deck uh, leader that came out around the same time as evil 21 and a lot of players really enjoy playing this deck on a rogue level and this is actually a super good support card for that deck because the awakened side of the leader has an auto that procs every single time one of your blue green energy is placed in your drop area and this promo will just theoretically sit on your board and just continue to proc that every single turn for you which is super ideal now this auto can also be procced during your opponent's turn which i mean i'm not an expert with this deck or anything but Typically, I don't think there's been many ways to proc this effect during your opponent's turn, but Android 21 Trading Places is going to give you the ability to do that, which will actually net you extra draws, which is a pretty good thing. So yeah, really good promo card for the deck it's meant to support. All right, next up we have Zamasu Wishing for Extinction. For the set 10 Zamasu Divine Runebringer Leader, we have two drop, 10k auto. If your leader is a blue Zamasu card, when this card is placed from your energy in a drop by your leader's skill, draw one. So if you happen to luck sack it off of your Zeno Unison, that's just really great value. But it also has the activate main limit one. If your leader is a blue Zamasu card, add this card from your hand to your energy. And for the turn, you can't add cards to your energy. You can only play mono blue Zamasu or mono blue Goku black cards. At the end of the turn, place this card from your energy in the owner's drop. So this is very similar to a Goku black that this deck already has. And it is a a good tool for helping you get awakened if you happen to miss your Zeno Unison. But there have been times that we have a, we as a team have come back to the Fusamasu leader because in a lot of cases it seems like a good generic blue leader. But I feel like every single time we do that, I notice that this leader has an over reliance on the Zeno Unison. So while Zamasu is nice for temporarily giving you extra energy, it does kind of come at odds with Zeno because if you're using Zeno, you can't use this card to go into your energy and vice versa so yeah this card i think is still good it would just replace that goku black that some of these amasu lists already play it just has the upside of drawing a card when it's sacked off your energy but yeah i don't know if this card alone is going to make this leader like super super viable or anything but to be honest with you i mean a certain ban list like just ab absolutely axing crimson could maybe make this leader interesting once again that one i would definitely keep your eye on all right, then we have Goku and Oob, Newfound Journey. We have a four drop 15K deflect dual attack when this card's played. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of five or less, return to the owner's hand. Look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to one Earthling or World Tournament, both with energy cost of four or less, among them to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. This is super cool because it searches any Earthling or World Tournament, regardless of their color. Of course, it has to have energy cost of four or less, but this is like a card playable in pretty much any blue deck but it searches a wide range of things 
which is really neat. Activate main limit one for an energy of any color. If your leader is blue or a world tournament card and you have three or more energy, play this card from your hand. So one example I can think of is like, you could play this in, let's say something like Crimson, for example, and you can search for like a Trunks Overrealm, a black Trunks Overrealm, because it would be one of your only blue non-Earthlings or non-blue Earthlings that you would be playing. So that's one cool example I could think of, but I think there's gonna be a lot of uses for this card, depending on when uh, we get a bunch of decks that can play a bunch of different colored cards. This is one that um, I would pick it up while it's cheap because there probably will be a point, in my opinion, where this card becomes very good. Ne needless to say, if we get a good World Tournament deck, this will also just be a really good card in that deck, most likely. All right, then we have Gohan defeating the Demon. We have a four drop 20K unique double strike blocker and counterplay. So counterplay plus blocker, great combination. If your leader is red, play this card. Permanence for each Z energy in the costs of Z cards in your leader area and battle area, reduce energy cost of this card in your hand by one. So depending on how much Z energy your Z leader costs, you can have a one cost 20K blocker counterplay just for being on your Z leader, which is very powerful. Not all Z leaders have a specific cost of three though. So you may have to have this in tandem with uh, like Z battle card and Z leader cost. But there's another permit that says for each card in your Z energy, reduce energy cost this card in your hand by one. So you can make up that cost reduction in multiple different ways, but it is really cool that if you are just a Z leader that costs three Z energy, then this is just a one drop immediately. And then auto when this card's played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and then gets minus 20k power for the turn. Another great aspect on this card, again, counterplay, blocker, minus 20 something, which is not in the counterplay text. So it gets around deflect. This card is incredible. A lot of people are talking about this in relation to the hyperspeed rush go 10 we got a few sets ago in the tournament pack. And both those are great. They're just super playable in any red sand deck. This one actually happens to be playable in any red deck. But yeah, the best red deck currently is probably SS4 Gogeta, which has a high searchability for different Saiyans. And this can just be a great card in that deck. Obviously, you can't really get that cost reduction on your Z leader because your Z leader doesn't stick around permanently. But you do make a ton of Z energy in that deck. So this would be a great card there. And I'm sure this would just be good in red dot deck whenever that becomes a viable option. All right, then we have a few promos that are coming out for decks in set 20. So we have Majin Buu Control Magic. We have a two drop 5k. Auto, if your leader is a yellow evil wizard Bobbity card, when this card is guarded by your leader's skill, play it from your drop. So this is specifically for Bobbity to discard and then play. That's surprising because normally these Buu types of cards have been for both leaders. Then we have Auto Limit 1. If your leader is a yellow Majin Buu card and you discard one card from your hand, when this card is discarded by one of your yellow Majin card skills, add up to one yellow Majin card with energy cost of six or less from your drop to your hand. So if you use any of the various Boo effects that do discard another copy of a Boo, this can recycle any of the Boos you have lost previously throughout the game. That's not bad. And then if this card has Servant, when this card attacks, draw one. So you remember from a video just a few days ago, the Bobbity Leader can give your battle card Servant. So this thing can swing for a uh, 15K and a draw. And we know that it gets played for free if your leader is Bobbity. So this might actually be pretty good in the yellow Bobbity uh, Agent of Destruction deck. This just might be the best boo you can free play off of discarding with your leader. Not bad at all. Then we have Android 18 Desperate Support. We have a one drop 4K auto when this card's played, draw one. Activate main limit one. If your leader is a green Goku GT card, and you place this card from your hand or battle area and the owner's drop. Choose one of your green Goku GTZ battle cards that gets plus 5K power for the turn. The Goku Z battle card for that deck was a 25k double strike dual attacker, if I'm not mistaken. So making that thing 30k is definitely not a bad deal. And this just might be a good cantrip to play in the deck, depending on how the deck ends up being built. Then we have Android 17, Misused Power. We have a three drop 15k unique, activate main limit one for a green. If your leader is a Super 17 or Hellfighter 17, both green, and a Hellfighter 17 is in your Z energy, play this card from your hand, activate main limit one for a green, if you have four or more energy and you place this card from under a Super 17 in its owner's drop, choose one green Super 17 with an energy cost of eight in your battle area and switch to active mode. That would be Onyx Lightning, which I believe is also a blocker, so you get some extra mileage out of it there. Or, of course, just another attack if you need to. But yeah, seems like a very solid card for the deck. A one drop 15k or restanding your boss card while it's underneath, which is probably pretty easy to get it under there. I believe the Z leaders help you uh, put different materials under different cards, so this should be somewhat easy to get that done. But yeah, overall, and again, good slew of promos here for their respective decks. And then we have Brand de Chateau Elegant Fighter. This card got a lot of people talking. We have a three drop 15K deflect, activate main for two energy of any color. If your leader is green, play this card from your hand and choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and KO it. 
now that i think is pretty interesting because now any green leader in the game has access to on the on demand barrier removal basically at the cost of two energy however i think pretty much every single green deck should be able to facilitate goku fade arrivals which basically does the same thing and has way better stats so i don't think most green decks are going to need this for that specific function except for like a universe two deck that doesn't really play sans or namekians but then we have active main for one if your leader is a green u2 card you have four or more energy and you send this card to the owner's warp play one green rebrand with energy cost of five from your hand so the only u2 leader we have in the game is a really old rebrand leader that is just terrible by all standards it came out in the tournament of power set which is uh, a very sought after set but that leader is not great out of it so this tells me we're probably getting a new u2 leader sometime in the near future that's just my speculation but here is the main five drop you want to play that's rebrand avatar of affection we have a five drop 30k triple strike permanent if your leader is green and this card is in rest mode your opponent can only tack this card but this thing is fairly easy to remove but they kind of have to remove it which procs the second auto when you're when this card's removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill or ko'd choose one green battle card that cost of four or less in your drop and play with the skills negated for the turn one great target for that is piccolo assimilated ability and then we have auto when you play this card from your hand choose all your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and ko them so yeah this combo is pretty good cheating out avatar of affection for three energy does make it quite strong making it a barrier board white for three super super solid and then again forcing your opponent to remove it then getting the recursion from the drop area this could actually be a very good engine of cards just needs a better leader to kind of facilitate it because that second active main is tied to being a green youtube leader all right then for the final slew of promos we have zeno universal control five drop 5k auto lens cards played choose up 12 of your opponent's battle cards with god or universe in their special traits ignoring barrier negate their indestructible and remove them from the game okay so we there are a few cards coming out with set 20 that like specifically ignore indestructible a couple promos i think and that's just good for getting around zamasu dd's wrath that is a really powerful card in green because a lot of decks have a hard time removing it and then it just rips cards turn after turn after turn this card does um oddly specifically target that and other universe cards so if you're playing against let's just say uh a u7 goku from like back in the set 17 days or whatever that was that this would be a decent card to just like wipe their board but again it's so oddly specific that it depends on the format as to whether or not, as to whether or not this card will be good then we have activate main limit one if you have three or more energy just play this card from your hand so this is just a one energy board wipe against these specific types of decks and then activate battle limit one if your leader is a red great priest card there are four or more colors in your energy use one multicolor god from your hand in a combo so some specific support for the red great priest deck but this card is super playable outside of that and uh the other effects are way more important but yeah this card can be good in a given format but um not too crazy in my opinion then we have graded vegeta last ditch transformation we have a four drop critical blocker 19k auto limit one when one of your green vegeta cards with blocker and without grade ape is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill play this card from your hand activate main limit one if a field extra is in a player's battle area play this card from your hand and then activate battle limit one if your leader is a green vegeta only card your leader gets plus 5,000 power for the turn so admittedly that last effect's not bad but this is for the green um saiyan saga vegeta deck that came out in set 15 i want to say that deck was unfortunately an absolute joke and there is no amount of support that's going to make that deck good because the leader is just so bad i hate to rip into it so hard but that's just a matter of the fact this card though is actually not bad because it is a one cost critical in any green deck that has a field card the main one i'm thinking of is the world tournament roshi leader there's actually a uh, vegeta similar to this that costs two energy you can just play it if you have a field card and on swing it makes your opponent discard a card so that card plus this card are both playable in that roshi deck because you start with a field card in play that's what i find interesting about this card not so much its application with the actual vegeta leader but then we have sin shenron negative energy animus we have a four drop 19k blocker auto choose one of your other red shadow dragon cards and ko it when this card attacks or activates blocker choose one battle card or one unison and it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn auto then every turn switches card to active mode then activate limit one if your leader is a red shadow dragon card your leader is a z leader or you have six or more z energy add up to one card from life to your hand and play this card from your hand so we have some support for the recently nerfed red sin shenron deck this is definitely a bit more on the defensive side though because it is a, just a 19k attacker or a blocker 
but it offers you self awaken which is something that sin actually really really needs in its main deck because you got to get down to three life in order to z awaken so this card is very good for that and for anyone who wants to continue to play sin this card will actually be a nice little boost of course you still don't have the unfair factor of critting all your opponent's life but we take what we can get when when it comes to balance right but anyways yeah this these slew of cards really really good uh i definitely think they're worth going to locals for playing for and i'm excited to use them honestly i just can't wait for set 20 man i'm so looking forward to that after the uh world's format is over but anyways of course in the comments let me know what you guys think thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video